warming of the Earth's climate seems to prove the old adage, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. We are seeing heavier blizzards, more tornadoes, and worse hurricanes. Fire seasons start sooner and last longer, and 100-year floods are coming every 10 years, all because the Earth's climate is getting warmer. The areas in the mid parts of large continents like the U.S. or Africa or Europe are likely to be warmer. And this is a conclusion of the very large body of the world scientist. In the southeastern United States, where water has been abundant and cheap for decades, farmers have been hit by drought. Growing cities like Atlanta are using more water, and the drought has intensified a battle between three states, Georgia, Florida, and Alabama, that's been going on for 20 years, all wanting a bigger bucket of water from the same river system. As it gets warmer, we're going to have more evaporation. That's going to be drying out the landscape. At the same time, we're going to have more water in our atmosphere. So when it does rain, we're going to get a deluge. According to federal weather data, big storms in the Midwest that dump four inches of rain have increased by half in the last 100 years. Really heavy cloudbursts that used to come every 20 years are expected to hit every four to six years by the end of the century. With these bigger storms, heavy flooding that did $30 billion worth of damage in the Midwest from 1960 to 2005. But in 20 years, crop losses from floods are predicted to double. Climate scientists say groundwater aquifers are being pumped dry, and heavier rains run off too quickly to replenish them. They say periods of drought will increase and last longer as the climate warms, and that's going to affect wildlife. More kinds of fish, turtles, and other freshwater species live in the southeast than almost anywhere else on Earth. Less water in streams and rivers will not be a good thing for them. Water is becoming a scarce resource, and people are beginning to treat it that way. If we are more efficient in our water use and use less of it, we're actually going to use less energy. That means less greenhouse gas emissions, which means fewer problems with our, our water availability. So there's, there's multiple good reasons to be careful about how we use water. And the best reason of all, we simply can't live without it. For Assignment Earth, this is Bruce Burkhardt.